please ensure the following. Appropriate supply pressure, filter to 40 micron minimum, appropriate input signal, and always cut the signal and power to the transducer before cutting supply pressure. Please note, zero and span should always be checked after mounting. Also, be sure to calibrate the I to P in the orientation that it is used. Step one, open protective covers to expose zero and span adjustment screws. Verify there is appropriate inlet pressure at I to P. Step two, connect the electrical input and set the input signal to the minimum value of the range being used. For example, four milliamps for a four to 20 milliamp unit. Once the appropriate supply pressure and input signals are set, calibration can begin. Step three, observe the output pressure. Adjust zero screw until reaching minimum output pressure setting while at minimum electrical signal. Turn zero screw counterclockwise to increase pressure, clockwise to decrease pressure. Step four, increase electrical input signal to its maximum value. For example, 20 milliamps for a 4 to 20 milliamp unit. Step 5. Observe the output pressure. If necessary, adjust the span screw until reaching maximum output pressure setting. Turn span screw counterclockwise to increase pressure, clockwise to decrease pressure. Step 6. The zero and span adjustments are interactive. After adjusting the span, it will be necessary to recheck the zero. It may take two or three iterations to get the correct setting. Recheck the upper and lower range to ensure proper calibration. Refer to steps three through six in the instruction manual if needed.